All right, the goal here is to set up OBS as fast as possible. This is bare minimum, so bear with me. Um, if you wanna find more advanced videos, I'll link them in the description with people I trust. So let's get started. So when you pull up OBS, the first thing that's gonna pop up is this screen. It's gonna look bigger, obviously. I did this for clarity, but you're gonna to wanna to go over to scenes. So scenes are just basically different sources that you can set up to, you know, I have it set up for chatting, so it'll just be my face. Um, away is when I'm gone. But as you can see here, I have this set up for this video. All right, next we're gonna go through the five basic sources to get you set up for streaming. Those are audio input capture, audio output capture, display capture, game capture, and a video capture device. So audio input capture is what it sounds like. It's what I'm talking through. Um, you're gonna come through here, create, create new. It's gonna pull this up. You're going to get default, drop down, and pick whatever you're talking through. Easy as that. Next, we're gonna go to audio output capture, which is basically whatever you're hearing through your headphones. So whatever you click, whatever sound comes through that is what's gonna come through this. So for me, it's my headphones. So it's probably that for you too, or your speakers, whatever you're listening through, just click those. So before we move on, another pretty good tip I learned is to make this vertical. And to do that, it's not gonna look like this for you. It's gonna look like this. So to change this, just right click and hit vertical layout. Just looks like a soundboard, looks much better. Another quick troubleshooting technique. So if you're not getting anything coming through your audio input or your audio output, and you just wanna change it real fast, Come here, click the little gear, hit properties, and you can come here and change whatever microphone is coming through. So right now I have the crisp and I can click whichever other microphone, but we're gonna stick with the crisp for now. Next is display and game capture. They're both very similar. I'm gonna skip over display captures and just go to game capture. Display capture, you're just gonna pull it up and just click whatever display you want. It just pulls up your whole monitor. So for game capture, what you're gonna wanna do is pull up create new, capture any full screen application. So once you launch an Xbox game, a PC game, Warzone, um, Fortnite, whatever you're playing, just pull up, it'll just pull it right up and you can edit it on the screen. So some basic troubleshooting with game capture, if it's not pulling up, what you're gonna wanna do is right click and then order and then move the top. So it'll pull it right up. All right, next we're gonna talk about the video capture device. This is your camera. So I'm gonna turn mine off right now. And just a disclaimer, it's going to pull up my other camera, but you're just going to want to hit new. Uh, make sure your camera's plugged in. That's a big thing. Go to video capture, create new. And then here's my USB camera. And then here's my other camera. But just click whatever camera you're using and just make sure to activate it. If it's not working, unplug it, plug it back in. And with some more advanced techniques, you can configure the video, can configure the crossbar, do all that. But for now, we're just going to show that it's set up. So hit OK. You can come down here drag it, make it look nice. This doesn't have my green screen filter on it, but it still looks good. Okay, looks next in our adventure, we're gonna come up here to file and settings. Settings are huge and basically what we're gonna be using the rest of the time. So general, um, it's not crazy. You can mess with it yourself. It's just, here's the theme. You can change the theme to make it look a bit different. So, ew, that's gross. Dark, yes, much better. So these more advanced, just do what you want. So the stream, okay big part. This is if you want to stream, which is probably why you're here in general. So service, click whatever service you're using. So here's Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube. So what you're going to do is connect your account and find a code. I'll connect a video on how to find your code below. Uh, but you're just going to want to have your server set up to auto and have your account connected and run some test runs to make sure it works. But whatever you're recording on, you're going to have to have a code, whether it's YouTube or Twitter or Twitch. Um, you're gonna have to have a code to set it up and I'll show you below. So for your output, this is important. So if you start streaming, it's gonna go straight to Twitch or YouTube, but if you start recording, it's gonna record onto your computer. So that's what I'm doing right now. And here is your recording path to know where those recordings are going. So if you're making a how-to video like this, it's going here. Um, once again, you can have it set up the same as me. Audio, headphones, uh, up to you. You can mess around with this. Video, okay, so it's blurred out because I'm recording, but if you come here, this is important. So your base camera resolution, mine's set to 1080p, and your outscaled resolution, mine's also 1080p. So the outscaled resolution is important. Your computer may go crazy, your CPU might go crazy, um, processing a lot if you're running 1080p, but if you have a de decent processor, I'd run it at 1080p. If you have a okay processor, 720 is what I would do. Um, 60 FPS, bicubic, set it up like that. As for advanced and hotkeys, that's kind of 
in your own ballpark to mess around with. Um, just whatever is working best. Once again, this is a beginner's video, so I'd go to a more advanced video for that stuff. Okay, last but not least, here's how to set up Discord to your OBS studio. So, you're going to want to come over here to the gear on OBS, user settings, voice and video. So your input device should match whatever your input device is on OBS and your output should match once again, whatever your output is on OBS. So your desktop audio and your audio output capture should match whatever this output device is. So once you have that set up, you can come through into Discord and mess around with the output to make sure that sounds good. Then go into your game, make sure the master volume sounds okay there. And then once you're there, you're good to start streaming. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned, this is a bare minimum course. Uh, I will link some more advanced uh, videos in the description if you need some help. But if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comments and I will respond immediately and help you out. Um, I love this stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.